What's up guys? It's a nice night out tonight. Beautiful night back in Ottawa, Canada, coming back from my long trip and I thought it'd be good to just talk about it, just to go over some of the stuff that happened and some of the stuff I learned and really just how everything was. Before I go into it, I really want to just say thank you so much to everybody who made this trip possible. Engen, my dad, Neil, everybody who helped me get to these places and gave me the opportunities to participate in all these amazing things that went on. Just want to say a big thank you to all you guys. Now, my first destination was Ilova, Engen's hometown. I went there and I trained under the great Engen Terzi for about a week. Now he taught me, he taught me so much. It was, it was really incredible. He had so many different ways of training that I never even imagined and never could have came up with on my own without years and years of, of thinking and coming up with different stuff. So it was really amazing to see someone who's, who's loved the sport so much and is now able to pass it on to me so I can continue loving the sport. Not only did Engen train me, he showed me around Yalova. What a beautiful city. What a beautiful place. Everything about it was just amazing. It was a total culture shock. How, how things were so different, yet also at the same time, so similar. There was, there was amazing things that I got to see that I never would have seen in these places. So I'm just so thankful I could have traveled and saw those parts of the world. After that week was up, it was time to go to the East First West venue. It was about an hour and a half drive from where we were staying at the time and my dad and I go into the hotel there. At this point, it was really into my dad's preparation where he, he didn't want to do a whole lot. He lazed about and, and ate and just really chilled out and I got to spend a lot of time with him doing this so I was very happy about that. One of the highlights of my trip at this point was, was meeting all the athletes. I got to hang out with the greatest of all time, John Brzezink. I got to hang out with Engen Terzi, Ermes Gasparini, uh, Ivan Machashenko, all of these different amazing athletes who, who I, I was meeting for the first time. And I got to talk to all of them about arm wrestling and just life. And it was an amazing experience where I really got to meet the people that I grew up watching and have been watching my entire life. So it was really cool to see how social media really isn't lying to me about, about how these people are and how they act. Everybody online that I, I watched and, and grew up watching, they're almost the exact same people as they are in person. And I wasn't sure if that'd be the case because sometimes you meet people and, and they always say, never meet your heroes. But in this case, I was pleasantly surprised. Even though he was my dad's enemy, it was great to spend time with Ermes. He, he is an amazing person, and even though he was, he was fighting with my dad, he was always showing me a bunch of respect and really just really showed that it was, at the end of the day, a sport and that it was just people doing what they love. And he wasn't letting that get in the way of potential relationships to be formed, and it was, it was really awesome. I was really happy with that. Then the day finally came. August 26th, the day of the match. Now... I, I didn't know how it was going to go. I wasn't sure. In my predictions, I, I, was, I was joking about, about it going 3-0, flash pin in the last round. You can see some footage of me saying that. I was totally joking. I, I thought Ermes was potentially, potentially a little bit at the head when I first met him. But, but towards the end when they were hanging out and I could feel the kind of power dynamic, I could sense Ermes was a little bit, little bit hesitant and a little bit scared and that the mind games had been working and doing what they were supposed to do. So going into the match, I thought my dad would win it in an absolute war and it was going to be super close. Now, we all saw the match and that wasn't the case. It was a total domination. He beat them before they even gripped up. Total mental and physical domination in every possible way. I was ecstatic. I... I didn't expect, I didn't expect a victory of that sorts and, and being there and supporting my dad through that entire thing was an incredible experience. One of the big takeaways that I had from this trip is that I am so lucky. 
I'm so lucky to have a dad that wants to spend time with me and that allows me to travel the world with him. It, it, really, it really shows me how lucky of a person I am because not everybody has that experience or has that, has that family that I do and, and I count my blessings every day for it. I feel that this trip has really, really brought my dad and I a lot closer. So I, I, I can't, be, can't be any more thankful for going on this trip with him. It was really an amazing experience that, that I really will never forget. And I don't really want to go into the Arm Wars stuff because I don't want to give anything away, but check that one out. That's, that's going to be cool. That's going to be a really exciting bunch of matches to watch. September 16th, make sure to, make sure to check out Neil's channel. Arm Wars, become a member, and, and you'll get all amazing content so you can watch all of that. But, but this trip really was, was something special to me, something I, I will never forget. It, it opened my eyes to the elite level of arm wrestling and what goes into that behind the scenes to, to run a production like this, to mentally prep for the matches. And it really just, it really enlightened me to all things of this sort. So once again, I really just want to say thank you to everybody Everybody who brought me out there, everybody who, who took the time to talk to me, make me feel at home, teach me things, and, and it was really just an amazing experience. That's about it, guys. Uh, I just wanted to make this video to, to really say thank you to everybody who brought me there and talk a little bit about what happened while I was there. And yeah, that's it, guys. See ya.